I do. I like people, but I like them in short bursts. I don't like people for extended periods of time. I'm all right with them for a little while, but once you get up past around minute, minute and a half, I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. That's all, stupid bullshit. And everyone wants to tell you their stupid bullshit. And a lot of them don't know when to stop talking. You ever run into that guy? Doesn't know when to stop talking, just continues running at the mouth like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> don't know when the conversation's over. Stupid, trivial shit you don't care anything about. Things you're not even remotely interested in. Did I tell you about my mom and dad? Well, my mom and dad went on vacation down to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. This is about Six years ago, I think. <laughs> Seemed like it was six, about six years, six years ago. Six or seven, possibly seven, could be. Yeah. Somewhere in there, six, seven, more than six, less than seven. <laughs> Let's call it six and a half. So my mom and dad went on vacation to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, and my dad found a big rock. What he thought was a big rock, turns out it was a dinosaur turd. A petrified dinosaur turd, 27 pounder. You know, now that I think of it, it might have been eight years ago. That would have been close to Y2K, wouldn't it? Remember Y2K? Whatever happened? Everybody's all worried about that. Nothing ever happened. <laughs> Big fuss. Nothing ever happened. You know? God, that's strange, you know? So let's say, we'll say it's eight, eight years, eight, it was either eight or five. <laughs> so my dad gave my mom this big turd. He said, here mom, this is a big dinosaur turd. Put it in your purse and take that home. <laughs> my mom said, dad, I don't think this is a dinosaur turd. This thing is still warm. <laughs> Whoever dropped this thing is still walking around in here and we better get the fuck out of this cave. Nine years ago. <laughs> nine. I know it was nine because my wife was pregnant with our first boy, Mahmoud Ibn El Saeed Ben Salam. <laughs> and he's 10 now. <laughs> or is he? He's 11. Maybe he's 11. He's either 11 or 5. But while all this is going on, you're searching through your mind for something graceful and diplomatic you can say to bring the conversation to a close. And all I can ever come up with is, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! But you can't say that. Good manners don't permit it. You have to find another way, and I go to body language. I try to use my body 